As you people know, we're trying for a debt exclusion at the town meeting this year. Uh, hopefully, we've asked for $900,000 to replace a fleet of trucks that uh, date back to 1984. Uh, it was built out of a fire truck, it was a tanker, and now it's a dump truck for us. We have two Westport ambulances we've had to uh, uh, redo and uh, turn those into working trucks, one-ton dump trucks now. Uh, we have a 1954 grader. Uh, this, this highway department needs equipment badly. There's been no equipment bought here new for the highway department since the year 2000 was the last year they bought any uh, trucks. I was able to get one in 2006 from Chapter 90, uh, but Chapter 90 is cutting way back. They want to save that money for the reconstruction, uh, keep this uh, infrastructure of the town they want to save the money and do the roads and drainage is supposed to be done. They don't want to put the money into vehicles like they have in the past. In the old days, they used to even pay for uh, labor, chapter nine. But those days are gone because they haven't hit too. But um, if everybody, we've had everybody from every department come down here and look at our equipment. Uh, they've been down and taken movies. And everybody knows how bad we need equipment down there. It's just not me saying it. Ask any of the guys that have to work there. We're, we've lost a couple of trucks this year. I lost a man last year. We lost another man this year because of budget problems. Uh, with these new vehicles, we have enough equipment there that we could hire on a couple of guys this year that will come in and work and drive our trucks. So we'd be working for uh, $20 an hour, $18 an hour, and we'd be, when they leave, they leave the equipment there. It's not like the outside contractors. So they would, we'd be saving a lot of money by doing this. And uh, I welcome anyone to come down and check out our fleet out there. And you'll see 99% of it needs antique plates on it. It shouldn't even be on the road. And I don't know how we'd be able to, uh, Warren Messier has a good name for it. He called it the Band-Aid. We do a Band-Aid operation because of the uh, equipment we have to fix. Well, the Band-Aids are too too much now. And actually we need uh, some ace bandages or something because the Band-Aids won't make it anymore. Thank you very much. Well, I think uh, the first thing I'd probably respond to it is this uh, list that we have here is that it's it's interesting that, and I'd probably just make note that the vehicle, the, this list that's here lists uh, plates, years, make, model, and mileage, and a bit of a description, I guess, on some of the uh, vehicles that are considered to be sweepers or compressors, and uh, it's dated uh, March 22nd, uh, 2011. The, the town of Westport has a requirement under the town bylaw that requires an inventory list to be prepared each year and submitted to the Board of Selectmen. And for the first five years of Mr. Sisson's tenure, uh, no such list was submitted to the Board of Selectmen. Uh, for the last two years, a list has been submitted, and I obtained copies of those lists back in early January, actually January 5, and I happened to bring a copy of the list with me, uh, and I've been talking to people about this as I've, as I've gone door to door. And the interesting thing I'd like to point out to people is that the inventory list that was uh, prepared and submitted to the Board of Selectmen identifying the equipment on the Highway Department made no reference whatsoever to any of the vehicles or equipment that they show on here. Uh, the list, the actual official list that was submitted to the town, Board of Selectmen includes pencil sharpeners, um, ready heater, uh, cane saw, wooden table, a filing cabinet, miscellaneous, uh, generally mis miscellaneous type equipment that I see on there. But it doesn't contain anything with regard to dump trucks or freight liners or backhoes or uh, front end loaders or any of the other equipment that's on here. So I'm at a little bit of a loss to, to really do an effective analysis of the equipment here or explain how it's used. But you know, one of the things I point out to is that on this list, the mere identification that there's mileage on here doesn't say whether that mileage was put on in the last 10 years or the last year. There's no indication what the mileage was at the, at the end of the, the last year to know that whether it was used for an hour or 10 hours or 100 hours. So to sit here and simply identify what I would be able to use or not use, I think is I'm at, a, at a bit of a disadvantage to do that. But I can tell you that I did take the opportunity to try to find out information about this equipment uh, actually before I took out papers for the highway department and I wasn't able to attain this information. Uh, and that was actually information that I requested under the Freedom of Information Act, but it was not provided to me. 
Um, so unfortunately, I can't make a specific comment on this equipment and how I try to use it, but I certainly have to make an, an evaluation of it if I'm elected as to whether or not it's actually usable and how we would then use it. Thank you. Again, I had heard about this inventory list. I think as an effective manager, you really have to put your uh, the precedent of what you need for equipment to the finance committee and to the to the proper boards to know that you can get it replaced. Uh, a list of this sort actually couldn't give them any idea. Uh, my experience working for John Deere, working for Bobcat, working for a construction company now that we have over 60 men working there. Uh, it's quite a bit bigger operation than we have a fleet here in Westport, uh, in the town of Westport. Uh, we have seven backhoes, we have five loaders, we have, uh, I believe, seven excavators, uh, about 12 trucks, over 30 pickups. So we have to stay on top of our equipment a lot more. We have to to, to do this too, even though it's a private sector. We have to put, uh, you know, what we want to our bosses to keep our our crews happy. I think you, to looking over this list here now, I know uh, there was some talk of replacing it with ten wheelers. Um, when I heard about it, I take a ten wheel as a sixteen yard body. Uh, you, I heard you talking, I believe, this, yesterday on the debate, like a nine yard body. No, no, it's a ten or twelve yard. Okay, body. ten to twelve yard body. Okay, I mean something like that. I don't have a problem going with a ten to twelve yard body. I don't need, need seeing sixteen to eighteen yard bodies in this department. <laughs> Uh, I was asked this question by the Romeos the other day, and it came up yesterday in a, in a, in a debate. Um, you know, possibly looking at uh, maybe six wheels with tag axles. I'd, I'd really have to take a better look at it, but I feel of, the, of everyone running, I'm more qualified to make these decisions. I've been around equipment longer. I know what I'm doing, and I've done it for other towns. I've sat down with uh, DPW directors and highway surveyors in other towns working over their needs. In fact, when we wanted to buy the loader here at the dump, we wanted to go with a 544. We didn't have the money for a 544. We went with a 444 with a high lift. It was a, it was a model lower. It was 